Hi, welcome to this uh, episode of Cabinet Vision Minute. Uh, this Cabinet Vision Minute is actually going to be a lot longer than just a minute or two. Uh, it's going to be several minutes as we go through this unboxing of Cabinet Vision 12. Just a little background, uh, Cabinet Vision 12 was released by Hexagon, I think it was last month. Last month was October 2019. It could have been September, but give or take, it was, you know, in that time frame. And um, I think they've done a great job overall. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty pleased. My first impression is I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, but so starting at the beginning, uh, upgrading from Cabinet Vision 11 to Cabinet Vision 12, uh, overall, um, the process was not bad. Uh, if you've ever started the process of upgrading or reinstalling, you know that that there's potential for road work ahead. However, in my case, the upgrade went about as smooth as it could have gone. Uh, the PC I installed Cabinet Vision 12 onto is a basic six-year-old Windows desktop computer running Windows 10 home version. Um, it has an i5 3 gigahertz processor with 8 gigabytes of RAM. So I'm sure you'll agree that this machine is no hot rod. Um, but I had no errors. I had no pauses uh, or restarts um, of any kind were necessary. Um, I just paid attention to the dialog box questions uh, and you know selected appropriate answers. The upgrade will ask you if you'd like to include your construction methods and material schedules in UCSs and libraries and so forth. And I said yes to all of the above. Um, just as a side-by-side -side, uh, comparison, um, a few things that jumped out. Kind of Vision 11, you're familiar with uh, what they call the splash screen. And um, in Cabinet Vision 12, uh, it's not so much of a splash screen. So, um, you know, that might ca cause a little bit of confusion for, for those of you who are, you know, who are watching old videos and, and uh, whoever is presenting in the video refers to the splash screen. Well, they're referring to this screen. And in the older version, they were referring to this as a splash screen. So the product logo splash screen has been redesigned and no longer remains as the default image on the home screen. This redesign probably opens the door to a little confusion because with previous versions of Cabinet Vision, Hexagon, Vero, Planet uh, referred to this main home screen as the splash screen. Just to add confusion, I'm calling this the home screen. This sans artwork design makes for a cleaner look in my opinion. I'm told you can customize the home screen by adding your own image to the home screen, but I haven't yet figured out how to do that. So the one new thing that's added is this connections button, uh, which we'll talk about in a little bit. And a few things that are gone are the old, uh, well, I'll go over here to 11 again. And you'll see that the drawer rollout and countertop are no longer in, uh, are no longer showing. Uh, so they've been rolled up into the, uh, the new assembly manager. And we'll talk about that in a while as well. Pressing the connections button on the construction section of the menu bar will open the new Connections Manager. The old buttons for the uh, drawer rollout and countertop have been rolled up into the new Assembly Manager. Hexagon has produced a series of videos which highlights all the new features, so I'm going to piggyback on their videos as I move through this unboxing. Those videos are available on the Hexagon website, on YouTube, and here on the Craftsman Engineering website. I've included links below uh, well, if you're on, follow my show notes on my website and you'll see what I mean by below. There are links to um, all the new videos and I'll, I'll work through them and uh, I'll refer to them uh, throughout this rest of this unboxing. At the time of this uh, unboxing, um, I'm using version uh, 296 and you can uh, see right here, this is version 296 or it's build number 296. And if you watch the video, you'll see that the connection manager is a little bit different in the video than it is on the, from what I've discovered. So I think they, they uh, made some changes 
after they uh, produce their video. In the video, I think when you um, click on one of these items over here, you'll see that it, it stays within this. And I think there's a little window right about here that uh, is no longer there. So this is slightly different than the video. So um, when you double click on one of these, um, another dialog box opens up, which looks like the wizard interface uh, we're all familiar with. Only the questions or standards um, refer to types of connections. Uh, you know, so these right here refer to types of connections. So the list over here contains uh, a lot of duplicates. You'll see like this one, for example, the stop data number 17. Um, there's one, two, three, four, four of those, and they're all virtually the same. They're quarter inch deep uh, stop dados. And they do this so that you can modify one of those to suit your needs and use that one, uh, whatever. And you can do just like you used to do also and copy uh, and rename. And if you need, you know, 30 stop dados, you can build 30 stop dados. But they're giving you pretty much the, um, you know, the basis to create uh, and use stuff right out of the box and go. Uh, this is a new way of thinking about connections, but I find it to be a little bit more elegant. Uh, a little bit more intuitive and definitely more useful uh, to me anyhow than the old method. Just a word about the backup interface. Uh, under utilities there's the backup utility. Um, Hexagon redesigned the backup utility. Um, it's a sensible and well-designed interface in my opinion. Uh, two bits of advice though. One is to use it at least once a week. Uh, and you know, put it on your calendar to do a manual backup of everything. Um, this is pretty straightforward. It's saying that you know you can ignore uh, the things on the right uh, and include the things on the left, and you can add one side to the other by using the navigation buttons uh, in the middle. It's m much easier to use, in my opinion, and I think uh, you'll have good luck with that. They've added this new IntelliJoint Manager. Um, it looks a lot like the old IntelliJoint catalog, uh, but it adds a few useful features. I like Hexagon's thinking as they kind of rebrand these interfaces. They're making all this, you know, look very similar across the board, um, and it kind of uh, dismisses the old notion of a wizard. Um, so, you know, the term wizard is so Y2K, in my opinion. So they've added um, a new UCS interface. And uh, so I'm going to go to uh, Utilities tab, um, push User Created Standards, and this is the, the new interface. And it's like, I got here and I thought, uh oh, what's going on? Because I've got 20 or 30 UCSs and I'm not seeing any of them. I think this is a little bug, uh, but I'm not fretting because I discovered that if you click on the maximize button, uh, they all come back and I can then minimize and uh, they're still persistent. So uh, a little bit different way of looking at it. The cool thing about this is now in the code editor, um, it gives you a way to um, save your code right inside there. It's really much more of a, a code editor than what they had before. Uh, I used to use Notepad++ for my own uh, while editing user-created standards, and um, I think this may keep me out of Notepad++. We'll see. Um, they've got a new feature in, in Cabinet Vision 12, which I think is pretty nice. Um, I'm going to see if I can get through this really quickly while I'm talking. Now this looks a lot like the old Cabinet Vision, Cabinet Vision 11, uh, but also if I click on the Elevation tab, I can still switch rooms. So they've added this uh, room selector, uh, which is very nice. Um, I wasn't able to do that from an elevation view before, only from the plan view. So I think this is going to save um, a lot of clicks. They've added a new field in the Material Manager uh, when you're creating polls. Um, the new field is called Center to Center. Uh, so I'm going to go to the Material Manager and show you what they're talking about with that. So if I go to Pull um, and I 
uh, create a new poll or a new I'm creating a new material of type poll so let me select poll um, I'll call this uh, anything anything seven and the description is whatever um, here's that center to center field there so I can say that my in this poll I want it to be seven inches on center um, and I'm sure you'll agree if you've worked with polls before that uh, this hasn't been available before I think that's that's a great field to add uh, the only thing I can say about that is that there is no place where it actually shows you that center um, that you just created so I, here's one I created earlier and it doesn't really show me that center to center field here um, I believe there's a way to add fields on this view but it does show up you know when you're creating your polls or when you're adding polls to um, to a job in my opinion this would be a good opportunity for uh, to write a UCS that would actually show the poll centers um, as an attribute uh, you know when you're looking at it in uh, cabinet view or clicking on a door or clicking on the the poll itself and you want to know you know what the centers are on that in the job properties uh, when you go to the um, uh, the door and you're selecting a um, a material for those doors they've added um, they've made this search a little bit easier so if I wanted to um, you know find anything that's oak you know it, it's going to bring up anything that's um, that's a lot nicer than the old one um, they're calling this a door a door schedule search. It's really not a door schedule search at all. It's kind of misnamed. Um, if we were searching searching through the door schedule, we would, you know, have that. But it's really a material search uh, on the door tab of Jobs Property. Cabinet Vision has added a feature called uh, Tool Path Direction, or at least it shows you the Tool Path Direction. Um, so if you go into a a part as a left finished end in this case. Um, and I, uh, you know, create some sort of opening in there, um, and I click on that uh, that opening. Um, it shows me with this indicator there the, um, the tool path direction. Um, I think that's a welcome improvement. Um, I think these are the biggest uh, changes. Uh, at least the second one I'm going to talk about is the biggest change. The first one um, is uh, they've added a word wrap to this comments field here or comment field. Um, so if you want to write a book, you can. Anyhow, you can see that it's word wrapping and uh, that's, a, that's a pretty nice feature. So if, if you like writing a book in the comment tab or comment uh, box there, feel free. Uh, the other feature I wanted to show you, um, I'm going to turn it on under the Preferences button here under General, Use Radial Menus. So um, if you're used to using, uh, let me turn it off just for a second. If you're used to using uh, Cabinet Vision uh, in past versions and you right click anywhere, you get the typical, uh, you know, uh, menu box that uh, gives you a list of selections uh, so it depends on where you click uh, that it's going to give you um, you know your selections so now they have this thing called this radial menu and we get to that in the preferences and I think by default this is turned on I don't recall exactly um, but uh, if you want to turn it on you want to try it out uh, you just want to use it because you um, are the kind of person that uses emojis in all your texts uh, you'll feel right at home with this so I uh, turn it on there and now if I click anywhere right click I get this radial men menu uh, and it's the same uh, features that were on cabinet vision all along uh, it's just a graphical representation uh, and for me I have to pay attention to the little boxes the help boxes that show up there uh, to know what they are I'm not used to that uh, this isn't for me uh, it may not be for you uh, but if, like I said if you're the kind of person who um, uses emojis uh, you'll you'll uh, absolutely love this 
Um, again, it changes for wherever you're clicking. Um, you know, one of these is to drawing and another one is to live drawing. And I haven't figured that out yet, but that's uh, that's your radial menu. This um, assembly manager, which I spoke about earlier, um, is really where you're going to edit all your construction methods. Um, this, I believe, is the uh, it would get the biggest bang for the buck award um, in this new version of Cabinet Vision. Um, I would encourage you to uh, go to my website and find the, um, uh, the Hexagon video uh, that discusses the Assembly Manager. And if you're on my website right now, um, you can just scroll down uh, and click on the header that will take you to that Assembly Manager video. They've done about a five minute video that discusses this. Um, essentially, it's a redesign of all the um, different uh, assembly wizards they had before and um, they've rolled up uh, drawer boxes into this uh, and countertops in there as well. Um, so you can select a, a, a class of assembly methods. So you can see there's that drawer box that they have included in there. There's countertops that they've included um, or assembly methods and here is the list of all the different ones. You know that there are four included out of the box. Uh, 32 millimeter uh, face frame, uh, frameless, and uh, what's the other one? Um, flush overlay or something. Um, at any rate, um, uh, so it's just a little bit different way of displaying those and getting to them. Um, they are also, they've redesigned uh, the graphics, which they'll discuss in there. And um, one of the most important things I think that they've added is this connection uh, category here, which uh, is new to Cabinet Vision 12. So that takes you to the, um, it's a new way of uh, dealing with uh, connections. They have the connection manager, which is up here. Uh, same, you can manage all your different types of connections. Um, uh, I, I can't say enough about this. For me, this is much easier to use. It makes more sense than the old method. For some of you people who have been using Cabinet Vision for years and years, this may be a bit awkward, and you're going to say to yourself, you know, why is that there, etc. But um, it's, I think it's a little bit more elegant and uh, a, a better way to present uh, all of your uh, constructions. I think uh, this gets a big thumbs up in my opinion. All in all, I think Hexagon uh, did a great job. I, like any new release of software, there's bound to be a few bugs here and there. Um, I think I pointed out one earlier. Um, if I were to rate this new version, I would give it four out of five stars for those of you who rate everything using the star system. Uh, and if you'd like to learn more about purchasing or upgrading Cabinet Vision, contact Hexagon or your Cabinet Vision area representative. Um, if you'd like to improve your Cabinet Vision skills or learn tips, tricks uh, to improve your quality of your casework projects and workflow, contact me on my website at craftsmanengineering.com. Thanks for watching.